now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, another nice uh, August day with just a few showers that wandered into our eastern and northern counties, and that was pretty much it. Now, rain chances will be slowly increasing for the rest of the week, but not a big change in terms of how it feels out there. Looks like we may hold off the 90s until early next week. Though we're not far from them. 85 to 90 were the highs today. 86 Evansville, 88 Henderson and Owensboro, and we might be a little cooler tomorrow. Probably about the same ballpark. Depends on how much sun we see, and I think tomorrow we'll feature more clouds than sun. But the spotty showers that we saw uh, just as recently as an hour ago up near Allendale, Illinois, have faded away now on live first warning Doppler. We'll begin to see a few more showers and thunderstorms come into play later tomorrow morning. Live view from downtown Owensboro on our roofcom, roofclaim.com tower camera looking down on the riverfront. And there's the east side of Evansville, our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera checking out I-69 and State Route 66. Temperature right now 76. The dew point is a borderline very humid 70. Winds are calm and as that temperature closes in on the dew point we might see some patchy fog developing once again. Temperatures now low to mid 70s should wind up generally in the upper 60s to around 70 for a seasonably warm uh, August night. Well uh, tropics are kind of active. You heard about Fred. That's a tropical depression moving through uh, the Appalachian. We've got Grace down here strengthening back to a tropical storm over Jamaica, moving due west. So it's going to be more than likely turning into a hurricane, but hitting Mexico and steering south of the U.S. And then out in the Atlantic, we have tropical storm Henri. That's going to curve to the, to the northwest and then the northeast, become a hurricane, may impact Bermuda, but not expecting impacts for the U.S. Meanwhile, Fred is still a very weak tropical depression, dumping a lot of rain uh, right up the spine of the Appalachians. And there were several tornado reports today to the east of that track. And there's still a tornado watch this evening there across western North Carolina. But it's just a little too far east of us to give uh, our weather any direct uh, impact. So skies right now are partly cloudy. A spotty shower or two can't be ruled overnight. Clouds will begin to increase towards daybreak. And then tomorrow should feature more clouds and sun across the area with a few showers and thunderstorms developing, especially in the afternoon when the Storm Prediction Center has most of our Kentucky counties under a marginal level one threat for an isolated damaging wind gust. And Future Tracker shows a little wave coming through. Not too concerned about this, but if a storm gets its act together, can't rule out a little bit of damaging wind that quickly moves moves off to the east and then kind of a quiet Wednesday evening. But after midnight tomorrow night, a more widespread wave of scattered showers and thunder showers moves on through. Not expecting anything severe here, but some heavier rain and thunder. This is 7 a.m. Thursday, so this could impact at least the first part of our morning commute on Thursday. That moves on to the east. The clouds give way to some sun, and we'll see probably a few showers and thunder showers develop Thursday afternoon, but it should be an improving day. And the rain chances now for Friday appear to be dropping as most of the scattered showers and thunder showers may stay south and west of Evansville, uh, reducing those chances, but they will be coming up again, it looks like, for part of the weekend. So overnight, variable clouds with patchy fog developing, warm lows around 70. More clouds and sun tomorrow. It's going to be humid again with a few showers and thunderstorms developing, especially in the afternoon over western Kentucky. Highs in the mid-80s. Seven-day forecast. I got the weather aware tag up for Thursday especially for the morning commute. But we'll see those showers and thunder showers diminish. Very humid, though, 84 for the high. And the rain chances now down to 40% on Friday. So mix of sun and clouds, scattered thunder showers more south and west of Evansville. A very humid 86. They do jump to 55% on Saturday. So we'll put the weather aware tag there. But they'll be scattered. Still plenty of time to get outdoors. You just may have to move indoors at times. And it still looks like rain chances going down on Sunday. And then the heat builds a little bit the early part of next week. So kind of a typical pattern for August, but it's nice to have a seven-day forecast in August with only two of the seven days in the 90s. All right. Not bad at all. Thanks a lot, okay. Wayne.